NUA is like a superhero. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. The, the baddest little man on the planet. Truly. I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I don't think there's really anything at 118 for him. I think he needs to go up to 122 just because there's nothing at 118. Well, that's actually perfect because, you know, Fulton, Stephen Fulton has said time and time again, once he fights MJ for Undisputed and provided he beats him, that he wants to fight anyway. How would you see that fight playing out? Who would you give the edge to, Fulton, or anyway, man? Um, I love Steven. Steven is a bad boy. I mean, he's a sharpshooter. Uh, his nickname should be Razor because that's how sharp he is when he's working. He works off his jab, his, his counters, his combinations, um, his inside work, his footwork is, is all, all on the scale of fabulous. And um, anyway, would have to move up to meet him at it. Now, I'll put it to you like this. If anyway can bring all of those good things up to 122, we're talking about a hell of a fight that I would have to side with anyway on. But if he can't bring that 100% to 122, the bad boy at 122, Stephen Fulton, is going to have some fun in that ring. Gotcha. Just my last thing, man. Is anyway the best fighter in the world? I would have to say right now he is. He's he's better he, than better than Crawford, better than Spence. Well, no. Remember when we say best fighter in the world, it's in their in their weight classes, what how they maintain and how they control the environment. You have to give him incredible credit for what he's doing. I mean, he's destroying legends. And and with that being said, you have to give him the credit. Remember, the mythical pound for pound ranking is all about what you do, where you're at. What he's doing, where he's at, is bordering on miraculous and incredible. Thank you, Dre. Appreciate you, man. No doubt.